So this is the Raspberry Pi 4. This is the 4 gigabyte model. And while it is a faster performing Pi than a Pi 3B Plus, it doesn't really do a whole lot more than the Pi 3B Plus can do. About the only things in additional it can do in terms of emulation is it can play Dreamcast and Naomi fairly well. Uh, it may vary based on the ROM, but it can do those. But as far as arcade ROMs go, it can't really play much more than a Pi 3B Plus can do. And for comparison, this is an Atomic Pi. You can just compare the size of this. It has a massive heat sink on it, about the size of the entire Pi 4 but it is a very affordable single board computer. It's got a separate board that you have to connect for the actual power connection. But even with that, it's a, a very affordable machine. It uses an Intel Atom processor, which is better suited for Killer Instinct. Uh, it also has 16 gigs of flash memory for uh, operating system. You can store your ROMs on that, but you can also add an SD card and store additional ROMs on that. And one thing to note, it only has one USB port on it. So if you want to connect this to your Arcade 1UP, you're going to need to add a USB hub like this so that you can plug in more than one USB controller. This is also a USB header here. So if you have the right connector and a USB port that you can connect into that kind of connection, uh, you could use that as a USB also. It also has Ethernet, has built-in Wi-Fi as well, and it's a pretty cool little machine. Um, you can't install RetroPie on it, but you can install a x86 based operating system uh, such as Lubuntu or in my case I have installed Batocera on it which is very similar to RetroPie it's a dedicated Linux OS that is designed to run emulation station and uh, run the various emulators so I can now show you how this performs compared to the Pi 4 Here's Killer Instinct on the Pi 4, 4 gigabyte model, no overclocking. Look how slow it paints this blue before the ROM starts. And just listening to the choppiness and the sound effects. Oh yeah, look how slow this rare wear symbol rotates. So here's the number one reason most people would be interested in a Atomic Pi. 
Killer Instinct main. If you're familiar with trying to run this on a Pi 4, you'll notice that this is, runs pretty damn smooth compared to a Pi 4. And even then you have to overclock it and tweak it quite a bit to get it to run. This is just a plain old main killer instinct on Atomic Pi. So yeah, I'm not even, I'm not very good at this game. I'm not even really trying to do much here. I'm just showing how smooth it is on the Atomic Pi. So this is a 2009 MacBook and it has a Core 2 Duo processor. Um, actually has eight gigs of RAM because I had upgraded it at one time, but it is a very old computer by any standards now. Um, but you'll see that uh, you can load uh, RetroPie on here and it actually can play these games pretty well, especially Killer Instinct, which is notably hard to emulate on Raspberry Pi 4 and impossible on a Raspberry Pi 3. Now, if you're familiar with trying to run this game on a Raspberry Pi, you know when it painted that blue color on the screen that it is going to be pretty well performing. I'm just letting them beat me up because I'm just trying to show how this actually performs really well, better than any Raspberry Pi would. And if the reason that you want to get a Raspberry Pi 4 is to play this game, you're kind of wasting your money because it doesn't even play this well. And you might have a machine this old sitting in your closet somewhere. So uh, fire it up and install Battlesera or install Ubuntu, Ubuntu, and install RetroPie on it, and you're good. <laughs> 